about this one? Cubs Guardians mixing thing up. Game one of a three game set. Justin Steele on the hill. Nico Horner making sure after the W, everybody was not neglected and got their high five love. And uh, Justin Steele on top of the first. Ahmed Rosario, comebacker. Steely, whoa, whoa, whoa. PFPs, pitchers fielding practice. Sometimes what you learn can elude you. Yeah, well, when you throw absolute cutters inside to right handed hitters, you just throw a cutter to second base right there. He did. He <laughs> didn't want to see that anymore. And, uh, see that? Jose Ramirez, see you there later. There it is again. Josh Bell, got a little something for you. And then Andres Jimenez. Oh, right over with Carlos. He was able to settle down and immediately get to work. Yeah, he worked right here. David Fry, I'll see you later, player. Then Bo Naylor, same for you. Tyler Freeman. A free swing, and he had six punches on the day. That was three of them, Los. Locked in. You see the elevated fastball paired up with that slider. It's an unhittable combination. Okay, you want to talk about a combination? Jared Young, his hands, that bat, and that pitch. Ooh, a third knock in as many games. That is a base hit to right. And then Nick Madrigal, he's all about a singles night. And how about Mike Talkman? Yeah, man, Walks so as good as a hit. So consistent. I mean, having consistent at bats, one after the other equals runs. And you talk about the picture of consistency. That's Nico Horner. You got to love it. Two run pop. Uh, that goes up the middle. Put the Cubs up a pair, Carlos. Yeah, kids, go ahead and just uh, press record. Watch that swing over and over again. That's all you need to know about hitting. Yeah, nice level bat path. To the fourth we go, Jared Young. He's up. And Jared Young, you know, good things were about to happen because this guy, he is mythological. Two run triple. Uh, that's down to right. It was a 4-0 Cubs lead and Cleveland well, uh, they were on the ropes. They looked like bald bull in Tyson's punch out. That's it. That's what you're supposed to do. You keep them piling them on, keep the pressure. I hear this at bat. That's actually a very good pitch call, and he was able to go down and get it, recognizing it early. Yeah, a great pitch recognition, the fact that he was able to pull that ball right there. How about Mike Talkman? Uh, more from the Palatine Pounder. That is a knock. It plates a run. That would make it 5-0. to zero. These Cubs, uh, they had one thing on their minds, and that was victory, Carlos. Yeah, Talkman with that very nice swing. Looks like the ball was on a tee for him, how smooth that swing was. Mm, how about this? You talk about smooth. Blackada! Not gonna pay a lot for that muffler. First long ball as a member of the Cubs. The route, it was on. 7-0, the dugout, they were feeling it. Yeah, they were saying, hey, slow down. Savor this moment. Man, he got to this pitch nicely, and there was no doubt about it as soon as he hit it. Yeah, uh, one of our producers, he goes by the name of Andrew Miller. He and Lance, they said, Who, is he gonna go deep this year? Andrew said yes, Lance said no. Lance, is gonna, he's gonna have to face uh oh, that man. A little uh -oh. Later. Hold on, so we're talking about home runs here. We're talking about home runs. Look at that! We're talking about home runs here. Christopher Morrell, uh, that is his 14th of the season. Pulls dead even uh, with P. Wizzy. He's on a rehab assignment. That ball was that absolutely right pulverized, man. Hammer time. Oaktown 357, a big time fan of that swing. A two run pop Cubs with a 9 0 advantage, and uh, they would go on and cruise to victory.